Hey everyone, this is your girl Talisa K, and I am Chet, Chet, checking in. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your support, your subscribes, your likes, your comments, and sharing the content on this channel. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome to my channel where you will receive exhortation, comfort, and encouragement along the way. Thank you so much. So hit the subscribe button. All right. Um, I am starting another seven day water fast and I felt like I am being attacked spiritually in the same place. And the only way that I know how to triumph over the enemy is through prayer and fasting. And so I just said, you know what? I see you, devil. You're really after me, but you're coming through someone significantly close to me. And I see your attacks. I see what you're doing. And so the word says that God would fight for those who can't fight for themselves. He protects fools and babies. And I believe that when we are um, powered up in our word, that we can go before God on behalf of others to intercede through prayer and prayer and fasting, praise and worship. And so I just said, you know what? I'm going to start today. And today is March 22nd, 2021. And I'm going to go for seven days. And, and your girl TK, um, she put the weight back on and she lost, okay? <laughs> so I need to get myself together. I need to get all these toxins out of my body. And I need to really connect back with God because I am making some decisions that I believe are consequential and vital um, on the path that I'm taking. I need God to give me the wisdom and the courage and the discernment to make right decisions and to keep my heart right, to keep my mind right, to keep my thoughts right in everything that I'm doing. So uh, today I weighed in at 205.2 and I'm going to be prayerful that I can lose at least 15 to 20 of those pounds in one week. But I want to make sure I'm giving all of my energy and time in the right area so that God will be, uh, he will get the glory for it all. So again, I thank you so much for tuning in and I will keep you guys updated. All right. Have a blessed one. Today, I just want to do a recap from the start to where I am today. It is about 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And right now, I am sipping a blend of four different teas. Um, I am drinking fennel tea, peppermint tea, licorice tea, and senna tea. I seep it all together, just a little bit of water. And that helps to get things going in your body, if you know what I mean. And I'm drinking, I'm not drinking as much water as I need to be, but I'm going to pump it up today. So when I started the fast, I was actually soft dry fasting and soft dry fasting is no consumption of food or liquid of any kind. So just going all day without drinking or eating anything. As far as working out and having energy to work out, <sighs> miraculously, on Monday, when I was soft dry fasting, not drinking anything or eating anything, I did over 23,000 steps. I was on the treadmill and then I got 10,000 steps yesterday. And so energy is great and your sense of smell is like on a thousand. Like I was driving in my car on my way into work and I literally could smell every seasoning, everything, bread, pizza, you name it, I could smell it. <laughs> so. Your senses are totally open when you are fasting. And yes, that is like enticing, but I'm staying with it. Stay tuned for the results. Bye now.
Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Talisa K, and today is Friday, March 26, 2021. I just want to give you guys an update on my water fast, my seven day water fast. Um, I feel a little tired. I have like hardly any energy. Um, I've been resting a lot. I've been working on some things. I've been praying. Um, believe in God to do some amazing things and he's already showing me that he hears me and he's working it all out so uh, spiritually it's been wonderful I'm just asking God for direction where do you need me to be I'm asking him for wisdom how do you need me to do it I want to be in his good graces I want to serve him with all my being and that is the reason one of the reasons that I am fasting um in this season. Yes, I have been tempted. Oh my God, I've been wanting to eat certain things. and But any type of fast says that you are serious about seeing radical changes in your life. So stay tuned. <music> hey everyone, thank you so much for staying tuned and following me along this seven day water fast journey oh my god it seemed like the longest seven days but i just want to say thank you lord that i passed the test and i pray and i am believing that god is well pleased that i did not um i did not lose hope i did not faint and i did not give in to those temptations okay so drum roll please your girl TK lost 18.8 pounds in seven days. Okay, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And, and as I said before, it was not about the weight, but I figured I might as well video the journey and journal the journey so that everyone can be inspired. And I truly believe that everyone should try a fast at least once in their life, but at least three or four times a year. Uh, I am continuously fasting when I read about John the Baptist and he lived a fasted life. And I said, you know what? I want to live a fasted life. I mean, I may not fast <laughs> seven day water fast uh, much, but it was well worth it. It was, uh, it was amazing. I feel liberated. So I took a couple notes because I didn't want to leave anything out. So I'm going to be looking at my iPad to make sure you guys get the scoop. All right. A recap of the seven day water fast. Uh, first things first, before you decide um, to do a difficult task like this, have a mind made up. Have a made up mind and say, you know what, no matter what, I'm doing this and stay with it, stick with it. Okay, that's the first thing. Secondly, I would say find a scripture. Find a scripture and keep it in your heart, keep it in your mind. Uh, the last time I did the fast, I believe I had. Um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, um, but this time I chose 1 Corinthians 10, 13, and God always provides a way out. So whenever you're tempted, God provides a way out. So that scripture was awesome for me. And thirdly, clean off your counters. <laughs> Don't have any juice, any uh, food, or anything that is going to tempt you when you have to uh, go into the kitchen because you will be tempted. Um, and just stay out of the kitchen as much as possible. That's, that's just pretty much a good idea. Um, overall, I had a great mood. I was in a good mood. I wasn't really irritated or anything. Uh, I just kind of um, stayed to myself. We're still in COVID, right? So I wasn't out much. And when I did get out, I felt amazing. And I love uh, the sun when I did get out. So get a little vitamin D, y'all. <laughs> I didn't have any headaches, but my energy level was uber low. I had to literally pray uh, God give me the strength to sweep this floor. God give me the strength to vacuum. God give me the strength to get on the computer. God give me the strength and make sure you get out of the bed gently because the energy is low. And now this is not for everybody, but for me, that is exactly how I felt. Um, yeah, so I felt, uh, I really feel um, refocused. I'm more aware of my surroundings. I feel energized. I am clear on my goals plans and purpose for my life. I was struggling for a little bit there, um, but now I'm back on fire. I mean, I'm ready to do it. All right. So that this fast was definitely what I needed to get, to get back on track. Um, one of the biggest things that got revealed to me in this season was time, 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 time. Um, how I was utilizing my time. Uh, it was, it is a big deal. I was feeling overwhelmed 
and I was frustrated and I just didn't want to do anything. I, I think by time, I was given too much time and too many rooms and group chats and Zoom calls and um, on the internet researching things. It was so much going on and I know I need to do all of these things for where I am going, but it was a bit much and I need to learn to say no. No, unapologetically, all right? Um, and like I said, just going forward, I'm going to be more selective with who I spend my time with, how long I'm spending my time with them, that person. And um, just make sure I set alarms when I'm working on a project, give myself a cutoff. I know sometimes you just can get in a groove and you don't want to stop, but you need a cutoff. You have to have a cutoff or you're going to get bogged down after a while. So take it from me. You don't want that because it's hard to get back into the groove. It really is, but the fast definitely helps. Um, as far as my body, I do feel lighter on my feet. Um, my skin, it kind of looks the same, but you guys decide. Mm -hmm. I think my face looks a little bit slimmer. Okay. What I failed to mention during this fast is that I incorporated soft dry fasting. And if you don't know what soft dry fasting is, and I'll leave um, some good videos in the description box for you to check out. I don't, I don't want to go too far into that. Uh, incorporating soft dry. So I kind of alternated days. I started out soft dry fasting and ended with soft dry fasting. And if I can be very tra transparent, um, I was really, really hungry. <laughs> I don't know if I was really hungry or I just thought about food. Um, the first time I did this water fast, the seven day water fast, I, I don't remember being as hungry or thinking about food, but I really was. But I'm just believing that that blessing is so big that it's coming my way that the devil was really trying to tempt me. Um, I, I did binge watch a few of my favorite shows. And one of my favorite shows right now is From Fit to Fat. From Fat to Fit. Oh my God, it's amazing. So you guys should check that out. I dropped that in the description box for you as well. Um, I highly recommend um, that you check out uh, Jensen Franklin and the late Dr. Miles Monroe. They have great videos for you to follow uh, regarding your uh, spiritual journey, your fasting. Uh, and you can watch a lot of inspirational videos from just people posting up their journey and uh, whether it's spiritual or they did it just to see how it was. Did it change their body, their thoughts, their mind, their mental? And it definitely changes every aspect of your life if you are doing it uh, with the right motive and the right reason. So I'll drop a couple videos in the description box so you can check those out as well too. And let's see. So I prayed and I read and I journaled and I wrote out my thoughts and my goals so I can, you know, jump back. Get on, just just get back on the horse. I'm really excited about this journey. Um, so I did that, and I'm reading two gr great books. Uh, one is The Truth About Men by Devon Franklin and Prayers That Route Demons by John Eckhart. Great books. Uh, I'm reading other books as well, but I just wanted to reference those, and I'll drop those in just, uh, the description box as well. Um, I got a lot of rest, you guys. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of energy, so I didn't have any choice. So I just figured, you know what? Girl, continue to get your rest. After the fourth day, I was in deep ketosis. And if you don't know what that is, I'll drop a dis um, another link in the description box. I'm not going to go too far into that. And I also use the app called Zero to track um, my fasting hours and to keep track of those. Uh, my weight, so I just plugged everything in. It was great. And that way, you know, it says, how's your mood or how are you feeling? So it was good to have that accountability to help me. Uh, so, you know, TK, you got to keep going. You tracking this. So that was great. Um, I was fasting with two other people as well, but they didn't know that I was fasting uh, the water fast. And I really just believe that when you're fasting, uh, it is really your business between you and God and whatever fast you believe God is telling you to do. Uh, you don't have to make a big announcement. Uh, I didn't want that to be my only reward. OK, I didn't want to die to sell for seven days. And talk about what type of fast and tell my business and everybody I'm fasting. And God is like, okay, girl, this is this is all you're going to get. Devil is a lie. Uh, I sacrificed my entire body and I enjoy eating food. And so it was very important for me to just be quiet and we just fast and be good. When I felt fatigue, I only felt fatigue one day. And um, I mixed some Himalayan and no salt salt in my water. And that is actually called... Uh, the Snake Juice Diet by Cole Robbins, and I'll drop him in the description box. And when you click on his link, um, just be careful because he uh, he used a lot of profanity to get his point across. That's how he brand his um, his himself or this this juice. But it definitely perked me up that day. But check it out if you want to. 
uh, on last Saturday, I went to one of my cousin's house. She had a brunch and I didn't want to be around all those people. So I said, you know, I'll come and see you uh, after most of the people leave. And so it was great. They had a bunch of food. The food was catered, but I was like, nah, I'm good. So I stayed for like seven hours. I didn't eat or drink anything. And that was actually a day I was soft dry fasting. I was very proud of myself because they were eating it up, getting it in. Okay. Thank you, God. I prayed. I prayed. Oh, God, you got to pray. So I was disciplined. So spiritually, I dreamed a lot and I, um, it was beautiful and I'm still seeking clarity for one particular night. I dreamed like five dreams back to back. It was, it was amazing. Um, so, but I'm seeing miracle signs and wonders, financial breakthroughs, healing is so amazing. So many great things. So today I broke my fast and I had a, a glass of apple cider vinegar, um, with water. I diluted it with water. So I drank that to break my fast and I drank a distilled water. And then after two or three hours, I had some fresh watermelon. I'm telling you, it was so good. So the taste, my taste buds were like, so I could just taste all the freshness and I put a little bit of cilantro on it. And I'm from the city. So I like uh, Himalayan salt on my watermelon. It was so amazing. So you guys should try it out. It was great. A great um, fruit to, to break your fast because it's all water and I'm going to tell you now and maybe it's just me and it's maybe TMI don't leave the house that's all I'm going to say because <laughs> your body is still working it's still cleansing itself okay it's still detoxing we're in Lent season and we're leading up to Easter and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so it is very uh, this is a very good time to fast and pray and ask God to show you his marvelous ways and his works um, so whatever you're seeking it could be healing, a new job, uh, reconciliation with a loved one, uh, mended relationships, whatever it is, I believe God will move mightily, financial breakthroughs, whatever it is, he will be there. He will do it. And he might not do it right then and there. He may do it five years from now, but he hears you. I remember reading in Daniel, I think it's Daniel 10, and the angel showed up on the 10th day and he said, God heard you the first day you decided to fast. So God could have showed up on day one. He's an on time God. So I thank God for that. So I know he's going to do it. So I have an expecting heart and I'm looking forward to what he's about to do. After watching this video, I pray you guys are encouraged and motivated. And you say, you know what? If TK can do this, not once, but twice, I'm going to give it a shot. And I say, go for it. Continue to pray. Continue to fast. And continue to ask God to order your steps, to give you the wisdom, the discernment, and everything you need to be amazing in every endeavor of your life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Continue to be safe, well, and blessed. I love you guys. Bye-bye.